Wistoria Wand and Sword episode number seven. I think once again, we have another week where this show is really just showing its animation chops. I don't think that any of us can sit here and really say that there is any other show action oriented wise that has been doing it better than Wistoria Wand and Sword. It is just next level. For me, I think the two shows of the season so far from an animation standpoint, Wistoria Wand and Sword has the shonen hype, really bombastic moments. And then on the opposite side of it, where we have more diluted, more like really just artisticness is Oshinoko. These two shows are going back and forth as far as like the prettiest show of the season. But once again, I think Wistoria Wand and Sword episode seven showed its chops. You had Will versus Julius, the big fight here. And, <laughs> yo, sometimes Will, you know, um, he's trying to defend himself and he's trying to, uh, you know, tell it like it is. He's trying to tell the truth, you know, but sometimes that truth can sometimes really hurt. And in, in this episode, he comes in and he tells Julius like, hey, that magic that you're so proud of, that magic that you're touting, well... Our, my girl, Alfaria, she created that when she was two, bro. She was a toddler. She was a baby. Baby, 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 baby. And you're over here saying, ooh, look at me. She was a baby. <laughs> this dude said, two toddler? I've been working on this my whole life. <laughs> he, he, like, Will just, Will decimated. Will ruined this dude. He said, two? <sighs> <laughs> uh so i thought that scene was just hilarious the fact that and will's being so for real too he's being so like yeah when she was too bro <laughs> and he's not even saying it like she was a baby creating that he was just saying like she created that so long ago that it's imperfect you know but he basically said she was a toddler you little little bitch you know what i mean like it was just such a funny moment uh, and the second funny moment was when Alfaria was like, yo, uh, does memory erasure magic exist or whatever? Because Will was like, yeah, she used to she used to run me ragged and she used to torment me with all her Alfaria clones and stuff. And Alfaria was like, no, my deep, dark secrets. I didn't want to, Will. I wasn't doing that. I just wanted you to myself. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so... I thought that was a funny moment, but it also solidified on even though Alfaria and I, I've given her a lot of shit this season, you know, about like, why has she just allowed if she's so in love with Will as the show tries to depict them being it's like, well, why has she separated herself so much? Why has she not helped Will? You know, all this stuff like why has she been so separated? I get that she's, you know, separated because she's a Magia Vonda or whatever. But like, where where has she been? And uh, this episode didn't an answer that, obviously, but one of the things it did solidify more is she is obsessed with Will. Uh, and I kind of wonder how far they've gone before, you know what I mean? Because they, they definitely spent a lot of time together. And this Alfaria girl seems like the experimentation type. So if you kind of get what I'm saying, I wonder how far they've gone before because uh, Alfaria is definitely obsessed with Will, uh, probably to an unhealthy degree. But on the reciprocating side of it, Will's also obsessed with Alfaria, probably to an unhealthy degree, definitely, because that's definitely what's driving him. So I like, though, that it did solidify, you know, in those moments, those really cool little short moments, it did solidify on how much Alfaria really is in into Will and, you know, what she wants from him and, and stuff. Uh, outside of that, you know, the, the crown stuff came to a close. Uh, the elf dude, you know, with the with the ears, he ended up winning the the crown this year because, you know, he actually played the game, whereas Will was here for revenge. Uh, I wonder what Will and, and Julius's relationship's gonna look like, but you know, Will slapped the shit out of him. He went bah! and you know, when 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 Julius saw his freaking fist, he's like, wait, 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 wait. Blah! He just got, he got just annihilated. Uh, but I wonder what their relationship's going to look like after this. Uh, and then that same same question goes with Siegfried or Sigrid or whatever, the red-haired dude's name. I wonder what their relationship's going to look like after this as well, too. But overall, episode seven was a really great episode. Lots of Sakuga, lots of bombastic moments, lots of hype, lots of battles. Like, it was a really good episode, I thought. Uh, and then it ended with Will not winning still, which I thought was pretty funny, so... 
Anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys being here for another week of Astoria Wand and Sword. Sorry about this episode being late. I was on vacation, so I'm just playing catch up with everything right now. So I'll see you guys next week for episode eight. One love, friends. Peace.